So yeah, so Trump was at a convention for black national journalists and a journalist pretty much grilled him. And this is what has been said. On the ticket because she is a black woman. Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she is I think somebody a- should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct- He's yeah, so that's funny. that's like believing the slave master on every. Oh, I I let them free. They they want to work. That's like, are you are you sure? Are you sure we're gonna listen to that motherfucker? And he lies. That's all I have to say. He, he lies. Everything he says thing. is a lie. Here's the thing. Here, here's the kicker. You know what I'm saying? Because just yesterday I put up that clip, or I put up something to that extent. And I had a Mexican dude tell me like, oh, you know, Kamala, Kamala was born in India. And, you know, then once I disproved him with that, then, you know, oh, well, she's the worst thing for black people. And then, you know, it's it's a trip because we have other races telling us what black is. You know, it's saying because Who's there's a lot enough? of low IQ people. Out well, hold up. That's but it. then here's but here's the thing, though. But then when you got like, you know, Uncle Ruckus as Joe Brown, you know, getting on the art of dialogue talking about. Uh, Kamala Harris is a hoe and she ain't black. Or you got these people, you got black people actually saying that. Why are we doing that? Why are we degrading one of our own? So right. I know that, you know, you ladies, you, you ladies here are probably tired. But again, this is stuff that affects us daily. This is something that's happening to another quote unquote black woman. This is stuff that affects us within just within life. This is something that's going to be historical, not even just on a monumental thing, but again, if we get a person like Trump back in office, then this means a lot, especially for Project 2025, which is going to affect all of us. Um, you know, so, I mean, this is stuff that it definitely affects us, something that we definitely have to talk about. For, and we for just myself. have to say Godspeed. She's not black. I don't know who Godspeed is, but so hold, hold, real quick, Melvin, real quick. Go ahead. A, a, a quick backstory on Kamala Harris. Her mother is from India. Her father is from Jamaica. And for those that are, who are, are historically, you know, ignorant, you know, saying when when the white people were going from Europe to Africa, they brought over black slaves um, and they dropped them off first into the Caribbean, South America, Central America, and then last but not least, the United States. So by default, you know, her father is an African is an African person. You know, what I'm saying, but even with Jamaica being a part of America, he's still African American. He's not U.S. African American, but he is still of African descent. And just like us, as we talked about, especially when it comes to ancestry, um, you know, saying like if you've been on this in, in this country for I don't know how many umpteenth years, there's a good chance that you would have quote unquote European in you too. You're not 100 percent black. Well, well you teach us them you're close. You teach them. He would know. definitely know. He would know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you would definitely know about European descent. <laughs> Let's not play that game. No, but on a serious, right, so, on a serious uh, level, though. Put on, put on, Tish. Now, my Hold question is, why does it matter? That part. No, very matter? true. Very true. So, uh, Godspeed has something to say. He says, and she will not have the black male, uh, sir, or ma'am. Black male is B-L-A-C-K. I hope they don't try to blackmail her. M-A-L-E support. Uh, while y'all have her king for democrats is not going to work we are tired of voting for symbolism symbolism and no tangibles i understand what you're saying i I hear what you're saying uh he also wrote he or she it's sad that you have black people so ignorant when voting for nothing what have they done for us um and we have adoration all the way from thailand uh few facts my grandmother is german geez i did not know that a nazi took (laughs) over not looking (laughs) <laughs> hey, can, can I make one small Y'all correction? Y'all better leave adoration alone. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I make one small correction before we get into this argument, though? Because I teach, I'm going to let you run with it. Uh, I'm going to let all y'all run with it, and then I'm going to come in at the end because you know, you know how I get. But uh, Jamaican is not a race. 
and uh, the fact that her father put that down doesn't mean that her father is of African descent. So I, I just wanted to be clear on that. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because so, he's, so, so, he's never so, come out and said he was black or African. Okay, or, time, no, out, time out, time out, time out, time I've out. I've never seen Jamaican on anybody's birth certificate except for hers. That's all I'm saying. So time out. So what are they then? You know what I'm saying? Because that's essentially what he is. If you do a DNA test and ancestry test, which we we'll probably do another one, you know, what I'm saying like it's going to come back African. That man is of African descent. Not only that, you know, what I'm saying shout out, African you know, dude. not 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 necessarily. I mean, to a certain extent. So, with that being said, though, her mom came from India and moved to Oakland or Berkeley, whatever they went, and then her father was an immigrant from Jamaica and went to Oakland or Berkeley. Matter of fact, they met in the BSU, the Black Student Union. They were actually, you know, uh, civil rights activists. They were out there fighting for rights. He's hey, come you, out you, and actually- you know, been, who, you know who else went to an HBCU? No, I'm not saying- Rachel Dozo, you know what I'm saying? She's a Black activist. Oh, man, here you go. I'm just saying. Here you go. We can't my, use my, that as a determining factor. So why are we going to say? Go ahead, go ahead, T. No, we, we disrespect the teach. Go ahead, T. What I was gonna say at the beginning. What's of, up, D, in the comments? Of, of all I this just want to know why does it matter, and and for a person, yeah, and and because to me it doesn't. Her nationality, her race, does not is not like it's not forcing me to vote for her. Okay, it's we're like I'm looking at policies. I'm looking at things that are being said. I'm looking at the other end too. The way he's running his mouth and the taking away of female, like the taking away of female rights and having us be able to make decisions for our own body is like making us property. I do not agree with being property of the government. I do not agree with a lot of the stuff that is going on. And I finally finished reading the Project 25 thing. There's things in there I don't agree with. And some of these things are already going in place in other states and things like that. So I'm looking at all that. I don't understand why it matters. And then this is, a, I'm coming from a place also too. When I was little, oh, you, you don't talk like us. You sound like you white. Like, excuse me for my mother and my father teaching me how to pronounce my alphabet and, and all that stuff. I was a cheerleader. Oh, you must want to be a white girl because you was a cheerleader. No, Tish didn't want regular PE. If you got to know me, you would have known why I decided <laughs> to do be a cheerleader and I liked competing and cheer. So that's why. But every time something goes from what stereotypical norms of a black person, you're not black enough because you don't do this or you're not, you know, it, it's dumb to me. And for it to be in politics like this, where we're so focused on if she's Indian or she's black, seriously, that's why we voting? Is that yeah, really why we voting? And that's yeah, really, and if y'all don't like the fact that she's a, that she's a melanated black woman, y'all gonna vote for the things that's going on that's being said by this man who's been proven time and time again to be lying. That's where my issue is. And yeah. I that's why I said I want I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why we're focusing so hard on if she's yeah. black and black enough. Right. That irks cool. me. Hold that, on, that hold on, let's say Melvin, Melvin, put the two pick in there real quick. I'm, I'm gonna get right to you and teach good stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. what's up, adoration? We just want to make sure you're in a nice, good, quiet spot before we bring you on. Um, I don't know if you heard the rules. Uh, she, she mm -hmm. there you so. go. <laughs> um, what's up, D? Um, Godspeed says, Harris does not matter. What matters is the Democratic Party has not done nothing specifically for the black community. That's what matters. That's actually not true. Um, not all the way true, I should say. Um, Cheryl says, Tish, I heard it too. Um, and then Godspeed said the couch will win. Not mm. sure what that, that means. That means they're not voting for either oh. party. That's what that means. And that's totally your choice. Well, that's a stupid <laughs> that's, thing. That's what the freedom of voting is for. <clears throat> that that is the stupidest thing. Oh, the Democratic Party, this party ain't doing shit, but I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to vote. Like, well, I'm going to start, start calling you Okay, then. Why, why, yeah. why do you even have an opinion if you're not even going to be part of the conversation? I'm going to start calling you Roland Martin, Melvin. That, that's what you, I, you, that's you, fine that's with what me. You sound that's like fine right with now. me. I, I, I don't you, mind you, Roland you Martin because he, he calls, out, he calls out, out a lot of people. He calls out a lot of people and he brings facts to the table. Except for a himself. A lot of people like to hide behind, oh, well, the Democratic Party ain't do nothing for anybody. I'm like, well, what have you done? Are you voting? Are you part of your community? Are you helping the black people in your community? No, then shut the fuck up. If you're just on the sideline and you're not helping at all, you're part of the fucking problem. 
Oh, I wonder why the ghetto is like the ghetto. Well, are you helping the ghetto? No? Then shut the fuck up. Either be part of the action and be part of the solution or get the fuck out the way. That, that's, that's it. But going, digressing back to my point, as I Please. said before, when I was, when I was trying to talk to uh, third, I said, when, when I take facts in, I look at it, the quality of the person saying what they're saying and then the quality of what is being said. So if a racist tells me something, then I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. And if, if somebody else tells me something, I'm going to actually do my due diligence. But as I said before, Trump, like Tisha said, Trump is a liar. Why would we even agree to even even have him up there? There's no reason he should be going for president. Why is it that if you're a convicted felon, you can't vote, but this convicted white felon is allowed to be run for president? Tell me how that makes sense. And then we're, we're even... we're. That that right there is absurdity. That is that's the definition of absurdity right there. And we now we're taking in what he says. I don't give a fuck what Trump says. I don't give a fuck what Trump supporter says. Most of them are low IQ. That's that's a fact. That is a fucking fact. Most of them are right. uneducated, low IQ. And so my problem is, how are we? Why are we listening to a, a white racist about how black somebody is? And then. And then why, why do we always have this damn discussion? Like I wrote a research paper back in, in college when I went, and it's, it was titled Buying Back Your Blackness. If you don't have on fucking Jordans a lot of times, if you don't have on the fresh fit, if you don't fucking flash your, your who you are, a lot of times your own community will turn on you. Like Tisha said, well, you're speaking properly. You're not dressed this way. You're not doing, oh girl, you look busted. It, it goes on and we attack ourselves and we have to buy back, buy our blackness. And it's like, right. okay, if you don't have the fresh Jordans or the fresh, oh, he's using Skechers. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my money into Nike who don't give a fuck about black people, who, who was initially founded by, Nike and Adidas were founded by Germans and the Nazis and do your due diligence there. But we have to buy our blackness. If we don't have a fresh fit, if we don't have if we don't have the nicest things, the nicest cars, we talk down to each other. So why is that? Well, hold on one, one sec, one sec. So we like shout, to out to Ad things. shout out to Adoration in, in the comments. Shout out to D. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and share button if you're on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notify button. Uh, Godspeed. Um, I want to shout you out. You know, you're over here heavy in the comments on YouTube. I appreciate you. I don't we don't agree and we can agree to disagree, but we can have a good discussion. And that's what this whole platform is about. So if you want to come on, um, I'll figure out a way how to get it to you, you know, saying if you want to come on to speak. But if not, you can still hold it down in the comments. But uh, Godspeed says, first of all, why don't you tell me uh, why don't you tell me uh, where voting has got the black community and it's got other people tangibles? Let's talk about civil these rights movement, immigrants, civil rights voting mm -hmm. act. All right, we, living off, we living off of 1965. No, but that, that he just said, tell me what, and I'm just like, oh, okay. okay. Right. What I'm saying, and he said, he said, what about these illegal immigrants getting all this money and yet black community has got nothing? Uh, then he also said, what's the difference between a white race and a quiet, uh, white races and quiet races? Both of them are the same, both are races. I hear mm. you. Uh, shout out, uh, she agreed with you, adoration agreed with you, said, preach, Melvin uh adam fournier i think i fontanet i think i said trump stood toe to toe at the wakanda convention with those journalists with, who yeah, possess you know, who's a racist <laughs> i'm sorry hey that was a good one that was a good way you ain't shit for that but that was a good way <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> you ain't shit. And I, I i can i can appreciate a good a good like you know trump didn't stand he, toe to toe he he, he, he didn't stand toe -to -toe at all he actually didn't want to get on for 45 minutes because they were going to fact check him <laughs> and he was complaining hey this melvin, came out. Melvin, never seen that melvin, melvin 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 we hold gotta on, be on. responsible sir hold on, hold on, hold on. he says yes it's always our own people that put us down and unsupported and uh well, we aren't slaves, bro. I don't know what she's <laughs> referring to. Right. Listen, man, we got to be responsible, man. We we can't just throw narratives out there 
and and before y'all get to calling me a Trump supporter and and, and all this type of shit, you know what I mean? I, I speak about facts, right? Let, let's outside of, of Kamala not being black. I, I don't care about that shit. What I, what I do care is having people that go up and try to misrepresent black people. You know what I mean? And and that's my problem with the black argument when it comes to Kamala, because it seems to me that there's a, a, a plethora of individuals who play black to, to get political advancement, to get uh, social advancement. But when it comes down to real issues, they're nowhere to be found and they shut the hell up. Or, or as Melvin would say, they shut the fuck up when it comes to us. You know what I mean? So that's always been my issue. I don't, if she want to be black and, and she going to have the mindset of the black individuals that are here, then that's a whole different argument. But to me, Kamala's not black because she don't care about black people. To me, that's how I feel. And if our only argument is that Trump is racist and there are no policy, I still haven't heard of policy. I went searching today. What are Kamala's policies? Please give me one. Besides reproduction rights, because that doesn't apply to everybody. Yes, that applies to women, but what, what do I get? Right? What what do me as an individual voter, what do I get from Kamala Harris? She hasn't posted any policies. You go to Kamala's website, it says donate. Donate and shut the fuck up. That's what it says. Now right? there's, there's tons it of says policies vote on and there. shut, There's no policies on her page. All right. I'll, I'll shoot and you I the link. link. Guys, I'll, shoot, right says bingo. I'll shoot I'll shoot you the link. And please, whatever, please whatever her policies may or may, may not be, it would be better than Donald How Trump. How do you know? Because, well, we, we, Don, we, we, what, what, we, what we know right years, now, sir. that historians say that the historians that grade the last, what, I think 100 years ranking, Trump is the last fucking president. So we he's ranked last. So we know by historians and people that know their shit, that Trump is the worst of the worst presidents. So if we're talking about hope, it, why would we go for somebody that's already last and not try to go for somebody that's not 70 years old, that's not a convicted rapist, that's not a convicted felon, that doesn't give a fuck about anybody but himself, and, and that has no real policies, that kept a white nationalist in the White House next to him because he liked him. So we saw his presidency and what, what, what it was about. And, and it, Melvin, it, it, can I it ask you shit. a very specific That's very question? true. Can uh, I ask you a very go for it. Go for question? it. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, Quiz, Quiz, hold that thought real quick, brother. We have we have a comment. We have a comment real quick. So please hold that thought because I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, Adam Fontenay says, look up MLK's lawyer. He was on the Labor U Party, a communist party. MLK was still oh, saying goodness. black black weren't free. Today, black people are, are overwhelming Marxists. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. That I'm going to refute that one. Uh, Gatsby <laughs> says the everyday black person had every money and every money in their pockets when Trump was in office. That's a damn lie, bro. That the is Dem a fucking lie. The Democrats have killed black wealth this go around. Look, right. if, if we're oh, we're talking hold about on, black hold on, ownership, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I let y'all get off. I, I got to get let I got to let Quest get off. So to 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 the Gatsby who said that, you sound far right, bro. You know, I hate no, to say ignorant. that because again, if you even know basic economics, then you know that Republicans are about big business. So where and where in that in between did that ever look out for the middle class? Or if if you're within a certain tax bracket, how did that really even affect you? So again, there's going to be tax breaks for billionaires while they're taxing middle class and lower class citizens of the United States. That's just basic economics. So I don't know where you're getting your it, info from, and, but it seems it, a little biased. It but, is uh, biased. Hold on, hold on, hold on a sec, uh, Melvin. Go ahead, go ahead, guys. Go ahead. What you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the nerve of you guys calling people Biden. They, this this shit sounds like a Democrat convention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, all we all we missing is Meg Thee Stallion on stage twerking. <laughs> you know what I mean, like what? Let's let's be realistic and honest. Um, I'm I'm gonna take you back to to a greater time in in. Democratic history with with the uh, election of Barack Obama, with a full Democratic House and Senate. Right, what happened? 
What do we get out of eight years of a Democratic oh, House? Well, the first Care. four years. The Obama first four, I don't give a shit about Obamacare. You may not, but that's that's a, saved list, a lot of people's lives. All policy. It's time out, Melvin, because this this is this is why I got frustrated last week. Because once again, I keep saying this. Every time I say something about black people, we have to co-sign and, and lift all policy with everybody else. But when Obama was there, it wasn't a lift all policy for the LGBT. It, it wasn't a lift all policy for immigrants. You know what I'm saying? And here we are, round two, from, from 2020 to 2024, pri prioritizing immigrants because they're going to be the new voting class to get rid of you black motherfuckers because you guys are too wishy-washy and, and emotional, right? But when Obama had a full House and Senate democratically led, what did he do for the people? He still bailed out the banks, big government, corporations. He still did everything that you guys accused the, the the Republican Party of doing. And by all means, I am neither Republican, neither MAGA. What I'm saying is if, if it's good for the goose, it has to be good for the gander. And we can't do use all this, oh, because he's a racist, we can't listen. And and because he's a racist, uh, you know what I mean? We So we listen to racists? Joe Biden was a racist. Like he been in he been in Congress and, and government for 50 fucking years and did absolutely nothing for y'all but lock y'all the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And and we're still sitting here like, hey, well, but, Biden was in and, and we played facing Trump, who's a, who's a racist. But Biden has passed racist policies from the, 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 the 80s on up. You know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? You have to be fair in, in your objectiveness. That's all I'm saying. No, so... I don't but care either way. My, my, yeah, my, so, so, so hold on. I, I'll let you rebut, uh, Melvin. So you, you have a point, but then you have a, a – you don't have a point. I no. get what you're saying. So there's truth, you can't say but then there's point, over here. You don't have a point. They don't no, have because, a point. Because, again, because it, 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 it is what it is, bro, because, it, again, part of it is exaggeration. Opinion, just say you disagree. No. No, I mean, saying, oh, again, I, bro, I, I strongly I disagree. I strongly it's not, disagree. It's not even just that. Okay. It's just that something you're complaining a little bit of fact, and then you're uh, exaggerating a little bit. So there is fact. Why not exaggerate? Please let so me again, know. So again, so you said that all he did was lock you up. So again, so he did help write the crime bill, right? So again, so that gave leeway to people, to police and people throughout the country. So a locking up black people for like small misdemeanors, for like weed, for little things like that, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm saying. There's some truth. But the exaggeration was saying that he's locking up black people. So he, that means to say that he's locking up all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some things that you're saying that are a fact, but some things are exaggeration. So like, I'm not did, saying did, I disagree did the with crime, you. Did the crime bill prioritize locking up black people? Let, let's be honest. Did it prioritize so, locking up black men specifically? Is that what the, is so, that what the crime bill did? But but he, did, he of, wasn't president. Instead of so. taking the crack epidemic and using it as a health crisis, as they're doing now with, with white people on opioids, but he wasn't did the crime president. bill target black communities specifically to lock up black men for minor, non-offensive drug-related cases. Is that what it did? Okay. No, my, it didn't. My my it thing didn't is, yeah, it, that, it that's did. correct. But okay. who signed it into it law? Who signed it into law? He wasn't president. That that time no, was Ronald but see, Reagan. But, 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 but Ronald Melvin, Reagan. Melvin, 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 here's my guy going on Quezon's side. He did co-author. I think wasn't he like the author he of it? He was a co-author of the bill. Was he? he was not the author or the co-author? But, but just as, as every animals like you, Melvin. You're but that was animal. Hillary Clinton said that. He Hillary talks. Clinton said that. But just as as in everything. The what is intended to happen with the law doesn't happen. The three strike law, remember that was signed by Bill Clinton. Three strikes and then you get life. And then that was found unconstitutional. Now the Democratic and, president. Uh, yeah, but when you look at you what that, Democrats yeah, have that. done and for the future, whose future is brighter? It, it, under a Democratic, because we're the, the bottom line is we're going to have a Democrat president or a Republican president. That's it. So and I'm saying, you, what's the difference? No, because did you read uh, Project 25? Did quiet. you read Project 25? This is why if you do not know first. the policies <laughs> and what is in the future administrations on both of them, what? then you it cannot see what is going to happen in the future. <laughs> you, Melvin, you what's the difference 
between an open racist and a sneaky one? What's the difference? What Kamala Harris is not a, a, a racist. So, so is she black? So the, the choices now is Kamala Harris, who is black and who is always uh, how, who is always claimed to be black, or a racist. Yes, she did. Racist. So the two choices that will happen in November, no matter how you feel, no matter if, if, if no matter if we die today, no matter what, November happens. It's either going to be a Republican or a Democrat. Period. So either <laughs> you're says- with Kamala, who's black. Or you're with the white racist whose policies, as uh, now, now, do you said, see how that is like politics, sir? Do you no, see but, how you but, broke that but, down? But, we but, have yeah, a white but, racist or a but, black but, no, I'm, I'm referring, policies. Yeah, that's a point. So hold up. So, so hold up. So D says, D says, D says, no, we are either going to have a Democratic president or a felon. That is it, fact. Um, it, it's the same. It's the same thing. Same, hold up, same thing. Hold up, hold up. I gotta read some of these comments because some of these comments are flying in quick. Yeah. Uh Adam Fontenet, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to you soon. Um he sounds racist. Bro, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> no. The first no. thing he said was Wakanda shit. And he was right on target. That shit was funny. Oh, Sam Sam Caruso says Project 25, 2025 has nothing to do with Trump. That's bu- 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 bullshit. bullshit. Again, um, bullshit. Godspeed says actually she claimed to be Indian. All right, let's let's start oh, with the Indian. Wait, wait, wait. No, the thing is, she is Indian and she's Jamaican and black. So what the hell? Let me mute. Let me let me mute both of y'all because now I'm on my bullshit. Because how how are we gonna say that? You know what I mean? It was not just Joe Biden. He just happened to write a part of the policy, but it, he didn't vote on it. And then here you have Trump with Project 2025, who didn't write a goddamn thing, and nobody voted on yet. But that's him. Come, be, let's be let's be the, the reason that is Quez is 125 people that were in his former administration who are on his current campaign. I don't include, give a shit. Well, well that, that well you may Did not give a shit, but the facts matter. It, the did, Joe Biden, matter. did Joe so Biden it, write the crime bill? But the, you just said it wasn't you're going the same back to 1984. I'm talking about 2025. There, it's either 1924, 1984, or 2025. Because you keep going back. You keep going back. We're not going back. 2025 and Trump administration is filled with Project 25. 2025. Okay. Period. So those are the people that are going to spearhead. His campaign, the same white nationalist that did the Muslim and, ban, and what's the happen? no zero tolerance. Because he, he he was he was a racist in 2016 too. And what happened? He still won. And, and what happened during those four years? We all, uh, we almost got into World War Three with North mm-hmm. Korea. He he brought mm-hmm. nukes for the first time a president ever said that. He's he got impeached twice. For, mm-hmm. for delaying one of the reasons why Ukraine is at the port where they need funding is because Trump didn't want to give them funding. Remember, that's why he got impeached, because he delayed the funding to support them against Russia. But should we be supporting them? <laughs> We've always done that. We, we right. should. And, and we should support them. But, because but I got people Russia that look like said, me sleep on the streets with no support. But but we give we give. But we billions never have nothing to give to the billions black of dollars. We get we billions never of dollars. We never have nothing that... to give to Chicago. But we but, never but, have nothing to give to the <laughs> We never have Chicago, nothing to give to Chicago, anybody it, that looks like governors. Me, but a war uh, five million miles away that has nothing to do with people that are in my community is, is being funded while I gotta sit here and, and figure out why my teenage son can't get a job. Because it, it's being got funded. illegal immigrants there, there's a million here taking the shit out some fries. There's a million and, and one and, things and that are being funded with your, your money. Window, sir. There's that, a million and one true, things sir. that your your money helped uh, fund the crime bill. Your money helped fund all these things you didn't want happen anyway. They happen. It, it, it's part of the budget, Bro, it's, whether was, we like it or not. I wasn't allowed to spend no money during the crime bill. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is my whole argument all, to, all right. to not to not go back and forth, right? To not go back and forth. Yes, Adrian, he is. But to not go back and forth, 
Like the, the, the fact of the matter is, if you are not voting for Senate and Congress seats, then you should shut the fuck up, right? Because we have these arguments every four years, like the presidential election is important, but nobody votes in any primaries. So instead of having arguments about whether Kamala is black and whether Trump is racist, we you should be mobilizing in your neighborhoods and your local right. communities to, bro- on to vote for every every state gets two representatives that go up there for them, right? And nobody knows who the fuck they are. And these are the people who pass the bills. These are the hundred people that are in charge of the money, right? That get spent and nobody knows who these people are. But we're arguing about a, a racist and, and an Indian. And, well, uh, that, that, that's black. Right, you know that's, that's, I, this, I agree with Clay. That's the problem. That's that has to be, you guys saw my picture with Hakeem Jeffries and the and Mike mm-hmm. Levin. I am fully invested in my local community as well as my state. I know you are. As, but- as well, but but I agree with you. A lot of people they don't know. If you ask them who's who's their representative or what's the number, what what uh, is county is their representative in, they can't tell you. A lot of people are ignorant to those facts, and that is part of the problem because they're like, well, it doesn't affect me. But yes, motherfucker, it does affect you. And like like uh, further point, if people didn't want money to go to Ukraine then they should fucking be well understood on what's going on it, because then Word. they call their congressman. But if they don't even know who the fuck their congressman is, they're not calling anybody. So there's right. no outrage because people are ignorant. Hey, so and that, that is the fact. I, I hear you on that. I agree with both of you gentlemen. You guys both brought up some good, 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 good key points. But let's end this shit right now, okay? Hold up, here goes a clip right here. My mother was very well aware that she was raising two black girls to be two black women. And she did that instilling in us pride in our culture and cultures, always um, knowing that we would face all kinds of obstacles, but she never let us believe that anything could get in the way. So, I mean, she's always stated that she was black and her mom, her Indian mom made sure to raise her and to let her know that she was a black woman. Bro, she's you know, so hold up. So, so hold up. So, so my thing is like, why do we as the people or some people do this dumb shit where again, where she's mixed? Okay. So does she negate the fact that she does have another, another ancestry, you know, saying her no. mom is from India, but her but- father is black. So at the same time, do we sit up there and negate the fact that this person is mixed ancestry? If this is what this person is claiming to be, then why are we sitting up there fueling the propaganda, giving these white people like Trump the fuel to say ignorant, dumb shit? Oh, she's Indian. Oh, she was born in India. You help. You help. I gotta say this real quick. It's not about building propaganda. We are delineating right now at a certain because what tends to happen, right? And, and y'all tell stop me when I'm lying, right? And we're going to wrap this shit up. Stop me when I'm lying, right? When, when other, F, other ethnicities of blacks come over here, right? When they do something well, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm Ghanaian. I'm Kenyan, right? When, when, when somebody from their lineage pops up, right? They make sure to make sure that you know we're not African-American. When, when black debauchery is on the loose, the griot, the shade room, uh, uh, you know, all these websites that, that propagate black debauchery, they're not run by people, black people from America. These are people from outside of the culture coming in and making these narratives happen. So the, the question becomes, when people get into public spaces and offices and positions of power, we have to make sure that these people understand the lineage of the people they're representing, right? Somebody from Jamaica doesn't have the same feeling about slavery in America, right? They may have that feeling in Jamaica, but in, in America, when we created uh, the, the position for them to come over here with the amendment and become, you know, we thought we were bringing in allies, right? But no, everybody gets over here, gets into a position of power, and the first thing they say is, I'm not like them niggas. I'm different. You know what I mean? I'm Ghanaian. I'm Jamaican. They make sure to specify. The whole time, 
we've been saying, hey, we all in this together. But when you get into a position of power, you don't have the same judgment and disdain for the system that has been fucking us up since we've been here because you feel it, it's a blessing to be here. You feel like you didn't have to experience all the trauma that came through my mitochondrial DNA from my ancestors from slavery all the way till now. So you don't feel the same way I feel. And now you're representing me and you're saying racism isn't that bad. Pull yourself up by your bootstrap. But, but I came over here slavery. from another country and I made it. Like, but, bro, that's not the To make this winter the same years. slavery, though. So, I mean, what are we really talking no, about? Yeah, but they ran. Right, if you had the same determination, you should have kept your ass over there. And I, made I, I, don't, I don't see what you should have made Kenya great. The difference don't is. come over here and point your finger at me and say you niggas ain't worth it and it, uh, don't mess. So with let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Do we do we hate people who look just like us? Do we sit no, there? This is, I don't this hate is, anyone. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying that you do. I'm not saying. So let me clarify. I'm not saying that you do. But again, so again. You're pretty much so Obama, his father is from Kenya, came over to America, met an American woman, white woman, and had him. So all of a sudden you negate his blackness because you feel like, oh, he his father didn't go through the slavery like we did. I mean, but that's at the not, same time, you know, I'm not saying what, what you're saying. saying. I'm not saying what you're saying. That's, <laughs> that's not, not, what not what you said. Okay. And that's not what you said. That's Be not what you said. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's not what you said. There's other people who have said that. So I'm gonna clarify that. But again, so again, we have people who look just like us. Just because he didn't go, quote because unquote, through the, the struggle of what we went through in America, then that it, doesn't mean that he's black. I mean, it's the stupidest it, shit that you can fucking say. It, it, because at the end it, of the day, he is a legitimate African American. His father's it, from Africa. His mother's from America. This and is he what grew you up got. in America. <laughs> so so I mean, mean, it's, everybody's it's African American. It's, it's fucking dumb. No, happen. no, my, my and then everybody. Not, well, I'm Kenyan. Well, if you're, if you're, he, he I'm Obama 77 percent. Niggas start throwing out their percentages. I'm 77. <laughs> I ain't really African American. I'm. No, okay. That was you that said I'm not. My my thing hey, is, I did my roots. Okay. My, my cousins thing are is, in Africa. They're in Cameroon. You said that I'm not, but I got my people. Go ahead, Jess. Say my, my, go ahead. So, do Africans claim to be black? If no, they're straight no. from no, Africa, they don't give a fuck about it. They make sure to tell you they're African. Do they Jamaican sure they tell, claim yeah. to be black if they're from Jamaica? They do. They claim to be because Jamaican you want to know first. why? Because the, the 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 black diaspora in America, in the, in the Americas, whether it's Canada, whether it's U.S., whether it's Central or even South America, we were cut off from our race. We don't know who we are, what we can identify as, even in Africa. So. In Africa, if you're talking about Africa in itself, it's a continent and it has different countries. So just like Obama's father, he's technically he's African, but truthfully, he's Kenyan because he was born in Kenya. We as African-Americans don't know where we came from. We were cut off from our heritage, so we can't identify with Nigeria or Cameroon, whatever, unless we actually do a test and actually find our, our heritage. So, yes, we're going to. It's, it's a So black black is a blanket term. That is used for people of us of color because we were cut off and we have that just like Malcolm X had the X behind his name because it's the the mark of the unknown. So it's a generalized term that we're saying we're different Americans than what we are. We were brought over here, but we don't know what we can identify as because we were cut off. And you know, what I what I was gonna say. So what I was gonna say earlier. Oh, go ahead, Jess. Um. So I was just gonna say about her race. I'm pretty sure she's obviously obviously been claiming this since what high school if she got into a HBCU. HBCU. Mm -hmm. She's been claiming it since high school. So they accepted her for that reason. So she in my eyes is black. What? But y'all know how I feel about politics, so hey. <laughs> this this right here this, you this right here is outside of politics. This is race and identity. Which is yeah, why this I, is race that I, to, it's how she identifies. This, which is and, why I wanted to bring race. up the word third word of the day was race. Because again, we have people of I'm ours that look just like yeah. us who will say that no, you're not black enough, or no, you're not this, you're Indian, stay over there. And then again, it's just 
So if we're talking about unity and blacks and this and this and whatever we're fighting, fighting, but you look at this other black person who has the same skin tone as you, unless they're a Candace Owens, then you know, saying like, why is Candace, she the exception? Why is Kamala, she black like because, you? Ah, ah, she because black Kamala, like you? No, no, no. So she is. But if you hear her rhetoric, her rhetoric is not for us. She is specifically for example, example, but example. Whereas according to you, she's not supporting our community, so she's not exactly. Black. And example. I think Kamala's actions. Example. That's why I'm fighting against his, his example. Right, his no, example so here's, where, here's, where I'm gonna give, here's where I'm going to give. Here's where I'm going to give. Here's where I'm going to give Quez a nugget. The other. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm I'm going to I'm going to give Quez a nugget of, of 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 support because I get where he's coming from with this. He's 100 percent right with this. But at the end of the day, you have Kamala Harris, not Kamala, no. but Candace Owens, who just said that, oh, when it comes to uh, police right shootings, when it comes to police shootings to a black on black person, whatever, then uh, it happens to more white people. It's not a race thing, whatever. She literally just for the Sonia Massey thing, she literally just said that this wasn't a race issue. And she was trying to deflate and deflect the attention that needs to be upon uh, qualified immunity when it comes to police. But it's she did this. She's she not. She, she not only has done this, she's attention. done this more than once for us. That, we talked that's, about George that's Floyd. The thing. Candace Owens is still black. It's just the fact that she makes her money by putting black people down. And I that, say the same thing about that, that is she still she's she does it, not. I no, say he does the same not. thing about the but, 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 but that's about not the same thing. In her purse and washing greens that's in the not, that's not okay, even so that's not even close. it's not the same thing but I mean, here's where not even close. Green, so, no that's not the same uh, thing but here's where i'm gonna no. give you credit quest you're 100 correct in this I'm because check on the baby but i'm listening go ahead no so where quest is 100 correct is because what democrats do and i gotta go i gotta backtrack to godspeed so you said what have democrats done for black people again so you're talking about the civil rights act of 1964 1965 and then 1968 which gave people uh, civil rights, which gave people voting rights and gave people housing rights. So if you're talking about the same thing about Trump, Trump's father was denying black tenants uh, uh, occupancy within uh, residences that he was uh, establishing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It, so therefore, he was discriminating God. against black people to rent to black people. So again, Trump's father wow. was actually seen at a at a, hmm. at a at a at a at a Ku Klux Klan rally. So if you're talking about what have Democrats done, you had John, John F. Kennedy, who started off the, the civil rights bills of 1964, but was assassinated. And then you had Lyndon B. Johnson, who was a known racist, who sat up there and finished it for him. So you're talking about 1964, 1965, and then 1968. So the thing where I'm going to give Quez truthfully some credit, because he's 100 percent correct, which Democrats are guilty of, is that when it comes election year, when it comes time to what they... They want to sit up there and make themselves appeal to these different groups, like the blacks. Okay, well, we'll give you Juneteenth, or we'll come with our kente cloth. We'll go well, sit you, here. You know why that is, right? Hold up, hold up, a second. Hold up a second, Melvin. I want to lose my train of thought. So each each four years, when they want to get the black vote, they'll do something. Just like how I said in the in the Ratchet News, you have the four years where you have more than enough years to sit up there and to pass this bill for black agriculture. But then you want to do it within its voting year when it when it's crucial within election time and then and at the same time what quest is saying which is 100 percent true is that you want to spoon feed it and i understand what you're saying melvin because you're writing and bring up a valuable point but they'll take the black issues that affect black communities and they'll put it underneath some mashed potatoes and then they'll force feed it to people like okay so we'll take the black issues but we got to put it with uh with minorities and minorities is a blanket term just like i said black is a blanket term you take minorities which you have mexicans you have uh indians you have all these other minorities that can get blanketed termed into this whole group of minorities but none specifically for blacks so it has to be forced fed as far as with blacks well, but then they do do things as far as take down black unemployment they give black hbcus monies and all this other stuff but it's blanketed so i understand where questions coming from you guys both have valid points Here's here's my my point. When you say, "Oh, they only vote in election year," what did we just get done saying? Black people mm -hmm. only vote in election year. So if you if they don't vote every two years for House of Representative in their local election, why the hell would they do anything early? They don't have to. But just as Joe Biden put the first black female Supreme Court justice, we oh he doesn't give a shit about black people. 
He did that at the beginning of his term. And y'all still say he did shit for black people. Why, if he did it for the la at the end of his term, you'd be like, he didn't do nothing for black people. No matter what, you got any everybody, especially the black community, keeps saying he didn't do nothing for black people. Well, maybe if we came out and vote in force, which we do not, and we only go on presidential days, which we talked about, presidential elections, which we talked about at nauseum now, then, then they wouldn't do things at the end of their, their term. Why would I have to do anything when you're going to forget it if all I have to do it is in year four when it's right there in your face? That, that, that's, that's one. And two, when, uh, to yours and Quez's point, of course there's not going to be a, a specific bill just for black people because nobody was elected by only black people. So until black people goes out and vote and say, well, I'm going to do this for the black community and solely for the black community, we're not going to get that one. Any black, all the black people, they got voted by everybody, all different was, races was and everything else. Was anybody voted in specifically by Asian people or specifically by the LGBTQ community? It, it, it's, it's, not, it's not about, it's about the numbers, immigrants. Quez. It's about but the numbers. Now it's about, the, you see how you It's always been ball. about, I said that at the beginning. The Asian because, community will get the Democratic support. For black people it has to be bipartisan. Oh my God. Democrats can't do everything by themselves. The Republicans help pass that Asian bill. So mm -hmm. without without just like they uh, help pass the voter rights bill, right? So so uh, we can't say that all they, Republicans they, they, they passed the voting rights bill when they had a no, majority. Uh, Lyndon B. Johnson was what was what? Staunch racist. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Republicans passed the it, vote. It's about the numbers. They, they, they it's passed about the, the numbers. He had to be forced to sign it. Right. It, it doesn't. All it comes down to is the numbers. Obama it, had so like many Abraham different Lincoln other plans. Saying, so, quiz, quiz, I'm like gonna give Abraham you, I'm gonna... Lincoln saying, right. if we could win this war without freeing the black people, I would do it. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're, quiz, if you're, quiz, you're 100 percent correct. Hand, you're that doesn't correct. make you any better of an individual. That's all no, I'm saying. It, 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 that's give, that's true, that. but, but no, so, when it comes to so politics, Melvin, Melvin, it comes Melvin, down Melvin, to so, the so the thing about it was, again, we had John F. Kennedy was the was the force behind the Civil Rights Act, but he was assassinated. Yeah. So Lyndon B. Johnson was forced, essentially, to kind of sign it because, again, it's just like the one and thing I'm going to agree re with. Right? That, huh? He did not seek re-election. He did not take his party right and so again so so again so were... just like just like to quiz's point though so to play advocate so to so to speak they don't only just do that to us they do that to to the gays <laughs> they do that to to mexicans they do that to asians they that's... do those certain things to placate to make sure that they get these votes come november but that's... for us it seems like they disappear but they only come back or when it's election time, they come back. We'll we'll, we'll get a we'll get a Juneteenth because because we don't get a Juneteenth because we don't Not vote. Like though. I said, if if we just got done black, saying black, black, black people voted, don't black women voted in twenty twenty in record numbers. So it's not because we don't vote. It's well, because we didn't get enough votes. It, uh, black people voted in record numbers for Obama in his first term. We didn't get and, enough and votes. As soon as he didn't do shit, nobody voted the second term. It, that, so no, that's, that's not, not, that's not, not fair. Vote. That's, that's not, not even true. That's not that fair. is not even Why true. That's not fair. That is true. It's not fair Why because, not, Obama because you term. know, just, you know just, specifically what their whole plan was. Again, yeah, you had the Republicans they, who said we're going to sabotage this man presidency. We're going to make sure that we don't pass any type of thing. So with just like what you said, what Melvin said, black people only show up when it comes to for the presidential race, but they're not voting for the Senate or for the uh, for the House of Representatives. But, so but when these third, bills don't get passed, Obama's first term, he had control democratically of the House and the Senate. He and could he have pretty and much he did, did the whatever affordable the fuck he wanted act. to do. They and had he did the affordable vote. care act. But, but, Melvin, but, Melvin, but, Melvin, but, Melvin, but Melvin, Melvin, Obama Melvin. wasn't. Obama was the first black president, but he wasn't only elected by black people. So, and he can't but pass law without Congress. Numbers. That's all up and, and numbers. What, what matters? True. What matters is the numbers. So if, if we showed can't up pass, the record numbers, and Quez, got, is, is God God speed, speed, are you Godspeed? Quez, are you Godspeed? <laughs> oh no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> y'all are saying numbers, the same shit. Y'all are saying the same shit. I'm starting to think there's a conspiracy. What matters is what matters is what you have. Yeah, they they voted record numbers, but moving on. Moving on, right. we're gonna have to have this discussion off 
off the goddamn podcast. No, nah, you know, we're no, gonna bring it back with it. the people who are over here. Like, you know, the topic. So that's what I need to be. Okay the with that. topic was where she lacked. We were not supposed right. to get into policies my, and my any thing of this is, other let's, stuff. Let's bring this to the artist. So, 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 so to close this out, I don't give a funk what this Negro says, what this whatever we Kamala Harris is black. Shut what we call. I'm not saying you, Jess. Kamala Harris is black. Whatever. I agree with All you. Right. And again, so why does it matter? It don't. It, it, that that part, part exactly. I totally agree. Yeah, why did Trump bring that up? Why did Trump bring that up? Because that's oh, so what racist has stigmas the, against her. She's black. She's she's black. She's black. She's black. She's black. She's black. He, he brought it up. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, she's a woman. Yes. Okay. Okay. Two things you can't stand: black and women. Let's move on. Yep. Damn. Damn.